Here's a quick video on how to use the Optima 6000 lumen short throw projector. You can use all the buttons on the back of the projector if you'd like. This is the main menu button, and then you have your four arrow keys right here, and there is your enter button. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use the remote. On the remote right here, the first thing I'm gonna do is click correction, and that's going to open up this menu right here. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to turn on my test pattern, go to settings, test pattern. At the very bottom, it says test pattern off. That's why you don't see anything. Go to the right and now it turns on this grid, which will make it really easy for you to make sure this is nice and straight. I'll click on the menu button again, or in the remote, I'm gonna click on correction to go back to the main screen. And then at this point, you're going to want to flip the image. So if you're behind the screen, you're going to click projection and you're actually going to change the setting to this one right here. Notice how the, how the words are backwards if you're rear projection. In this case, I'm front projection, so I'm gonna stay here. Now that you've done that, you're ready to keystone it. I'm gonna go ahead and go back all the way up here to geometric correction, click enter. And the first thing you can do is click reset. Are you sure you wanna reset all? Yes, okay, and now this resets. So now we're gonna go up to four corner now. And I wanna make sure that it, that it truly reset. So I'm gonna click so you can see how I can navigate through all these four corners. I'm gonna click on this corner right here and let's drag it out a little more to the left. Notice how it still has more room to go out. I've never been su super certain why that's the way it is, but I always come here first and I make sure everything is out as far as it can go um, to make sure that I have as much leeway to keystone it correctly. So once I've done that on all four corners, I'll imagine I did it on the top and right. Now I just come in here and I'm moving this as much as you possibly want to bring it in or out. Once that's done, and let's say it's perfectly aligned, you'll go back to the menu and now you need to turn off the test pattern um, because you're not gonna see the HDMI signal until you turn it off. Click on settings, come back to test pattern. And then now I'm gonna go to the left, off, and now you'll notice on the bottom right of the screen, it's gonna say it's looking for an HDMI input. Oh, let me go back, close this out. Okay, now it says looking for HDMI one, no source found because I don't have anything plugged into the HDMI source on the back. Now also note that on this, you have some great tools. Um, you have your focus, but you also have your lens shift. So watch this, if I want to move the lens up or down without having to like angle the projector, I can do that using that scroll wheel. And then and here is the focus wheel as well. Hope that helps.